Each year in January, junior sailors from around the country descend on the eastern beaches of Auckland for the annual NZ IOTA North Island Clinic. Run by the New Zealand International Optimist Dinghy Association in coordination with some of the major clubs in Auckland, the four-day camp accepts Optimist sailors across all regions to come together and gain access to elite coaching resources. While the goal of the sleepaway camp is to help sailors develop new skills and gain independence, the 48 athletes in attendance for the 2021 clinic fostered new friendships along the way that will last a lifetime. The clinic really um, met up to my expectations. The coaching was unbelievable and I had the best week. I enjoyed having like a different range of coaches and I also enjoyed staying in a cabin with some of my friends. I enjoyed uh, going to Motuhi Island, like the destination tower, that was really fun. Some of my favourite moments and like funniest moments we're just hanging out with my friends in like our cabin and just telling jokes and stuff. It was just like some memories that like I would always keep in my sailing career. Do I have chips on my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I really loved um, the activities at the clinic. It was really fun and I really enjoyed the coaching. Hand on lap. There we go. Hands on same side. Alright. Just started race three. It was just one boat, like the hub board at about 40, and both of them have race. I improved on my starts, which I couldn't add in normal pra practice because, you know, even in a big club, you may have a big Opti Open fleet, but when you have a, the whole North Island Clinic, it's great to practice again some of the best and big starts and big start lines. Uh, I chose to go to the clinic to have some good experience with good coaches, make some new friends, gain independence, and get ahead of the rest of the fleet. Sailors, it's a great way for them to build their skills and to kickstart their season, and that's what we've seen with our sailor. Talking with Greta when she got back from the camp, there was two things that she uh, felt that she got the most out of the camp. One was boat handling, so she really felt that she refined a lot of her skills um, sailing the boat. And the other thing was just meeting other sailors from um, other clubs and making a lot of friends while she was there. But there was definite changes in Greta from before and um, when she got back from the camp. I mean, before she was a Green Fleet sailor, you know, she was building confidence around racing. By the time she got back from the camp, um, the most obvious thing was the independence. You know, an example of that was uh, when we got back from the camp and dropped the rib here at the club, I turned around and there she was rigging her sail on the lawn and I've never seen her do that before, so it was amazing to see. For me, it was the first time that, you know, my sailor has been um, Greta's only 10 years old, I was a little bit worried about um, her attending the cook, being a bit young and, and, um, and being not ready for the uh, camp, but that was unfounded. She had such an amazing time. Um, you know, it sounds like she just laughed her way through the, camp, uh, the week, learnt a lot, and um, you know, we'll definitely be doing it in years to come. All the way from uh, Motorhe Island. All the trailers are here. Here and helpers. This tide is rocking. 
marketing in as the kids are. 